Hey, Rio Grande Valley forecaster Brett Crandall here in the 24-7 Weather Center tracking a very strong cold front headed our way due to arrive just after midnight. Check out this temperature in San Antonio, 50 degrees. Alice, 90 degrees, a 40 degree difference. When this front comes rolling through in the overnight hours, you can expect a 20 to 25 degree drop in our temperatures within one hour. So temperatures will plummet very quickly behind this front. It's also expected to bring some drizzly conditions throughout the first half of the week. You can see already some light rain showers around San Antonio. Further towards the north, a wintry mix. Dallas seeing uh, sleet, seeing ice, seeing snow in North Texas. So fortunately, snow's not going to make its way this far south. But if you're going to be traveling northward in the next 24 hours, you're going to want to take some extra precautions. So this front rolls through, as I said, between midnight and 3 a.m. here in the Rio Grande Valley. That cool temperature filtering on in behind it very quickly, and then that moisture pulling in off the Gulf, moving across in those upper levels with that trough forming in the West Gulf, expecting to continue to see the drizzly overrunning pattern through Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, expecting to see drizzly, light, rainy conditions here in the valley. Once again, check out these temperatures overnight, dropping into the 50s by 4 a.m., 40s by the time you're waking up, getting the kids ready to go out to school, and then they continue to drop throughout the morning hours into the 30s for some of us, upper 30s, so not going to quite hit that freezing mark, but it's going to be chilly, so bundle those kids up when you send them out the door. Tomorrow morning in the lower valley, temperatures still hanging out in the 40s throughout the afternoon hours, 43 in the afternoon in Brownsville, 46 out at South Padre Island. Moving towards the mid-valley, Harlingen area around 40 degrees, McGallan expecting temperatures to drop into the upper 30s. And Star County also expecting to see those temperatures drop below that 40 degree mark. Rio Grande City, 40 degrees. Roma expected to be around 39 in the afternoon hours. Plus, you add in those winds coming out of the north between 20 and 25 miles an hour. Wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour. Just as we saw on Sunday, we're going to see some wind chills below freezing temperatures. So actual temperatures, not quite freezing, but with the strong winds, it may feel like it really is. Those lingering cool temperatures through Wednesday, finally seeing that sun come back out on Thursday, temperatures rebounding into the 70s for a very pleasant end of the week. Another front expected to arrive in the Rio Grande Valley on Sunday. This time, not quite as strong. Temperature is only going to drop 5 to 10 degrees.